Wonder Woman 84 set the women's rights movement back yeah. five years. True or false? Hey guys, I'm Jack O'Shea. And I'm Michaela Pascal. And this is Who's On Top, the show where we each rank our top five favorite things about an exciting topic, and then you tell us who made the best list or who's on top. Who's on top? So today, Michaela, we are going to be ranking the best comic book movies ever made. Okay. So movies that were made based on comic books. Yes, and actually while while I've been making my list, I've been sort of excluding a lot of the Marvel movies, basically all of the Marvel movies. There's just so many comic book movies in that Marvel universe that it's like, I would put the Marvel Cinematic Universe as number one. Yeah. Because, but it's all like one story. Like I'm yeah. thinking of movies that were really based on like one comic book or graphic novel. Here's the thing. Good old Michaela has never opened a comic book in her life. So your guys are just getting what movies are like. And so suck it. Okay. What's your number five? My number five was Rankers number 10, Guardians of the Galaxy. I know it's mm. in the MCU, but it feels, even though, you know, they're obviously involved in all the movies, it does feel kind of like it's a little side story. Yeah. And I, I am just a really big fan of Guardians of the Galaxy. Mm -hmm. I think it's one of Marvel's best franchises. I never heard of any of the Guardians of the Galaxy things. Same. And then when people were like, it's awesome. I was like, I don't know, we'll mm -hmm. see. Dance off, bro. Me and you. Okay, so my number five was Rankers number 46, Kick-Ass. Okay. I love Kick-Ass. Who are you? I'm Kick-Ass. That movie is so fucking badass. Yeah. Nicolas Cage, that might be his best role. <laughs> that might be his best role as Big Daddy. The scene in Kick-Ass when Big Daddy is being tortured. No, He's just yelling at the time like, now you! Da, 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 da. And then she does it. It's fucking awesome. I love Kick Ass. Kick Ass is great. All right, so my number four is Rankers number 61 mm. Transformers. Transformers? Was that based on a comic book? Okay, I wouldn't know because I haven't picked up a comic book in my life. Yeah. So if you're mad at me, you can't be. Yeah, Sam Witwicky? Of course. Listen, I was like just young enough to where I was just getting into action movies and I was like, this is the coolest thing ever. Yeah. And of course, Michael Bay just blew everything up. <laughs> But yeah, I, I just love the series so much. I think it's very entertaining. Okay, so my number four was Ranker.com's number 30, V for Vendetta, mm. based on the graphic novel by Alan Moore. V for Vendetta is just, it's so iconic. Yeah. Especially now with like the anonymous masks. Yes. Like the anonymous symbol. Yeah. And isn't this episode coming out on? Is this, is this coming out on the 5th of November? Remember? Remember? Remember, remember the 5th of November. Okay, my number three is Rankers number 14, which I'm surprised it's number 14, but I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, the Dark Knight Rises. That was one of those movies yeah. where when it came out, nobody shut up about it. I saw it like seven times. Yeah, watching the rest of any DC movie now, it's like yeah. they're kind of a joke, but that movie was so good. But Bane, I mean, Best traps in the game though too. Absolutely. Tom Hardy, but he only did drugs. <laughs> oh, your money! Good stuff. What's your number three? Okay, so my number three is Ranker.com's number 35. Another Alan Moore project, Watchmen. The one downside of Watchmen is you can't see it and not immediately walk into the theater, light a cigarette, and go like, it was a up place. <laughs> like you just get so invested in this world. I'm down to watch Watchmen whenever you want to watch Watchmen. Okay, it's a date. I love popcorn. <laughs> anyway, my number two is Riker's number 44, which is a little bit of a cheat code, <laughs> the way they put this on the list, so I had to put it in. Just the Avengers franchise. Oh, that is <laughs> such a cheat code. I don't know, it's like, I love all of the Avengers. Obviously, they all go together. It's the center of the MCU. It's, yeah. It's just probably one of the most incredible franchises in movie history. The, the MCU is seriously, the most impressive thing ever. I struggle to think of a more impressive cinematic accomplishment. I think the MCU <laughs> is just a little bit less impressive than Amazon. Yeah. It's like up there where it's like, who, the people who strung this whole thing together, it's like, dude, they should be working for the Department of Defense the way that they can string things, yeah. connect sh like, very, 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 very impressive. I know Endgame was like the big one or whatever, yeah. but I'd probably go with Infinity War. Yeah, Infinity War is really good. Because it was so, <gasps> yeah. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. Sir, please. What's your number two? My number two 
is Rankers number 11. It's Logan. Have you seen Logan? I have. I kind of could only watch that movie once. And it, I mean, talk about a great way to have like Hugh Jackman is getting too old to play Wolverine, which let's be real, no he's not. No, he's not. At the end when, when spoiler alert, he dies and she's basically like, they're, they're burying him and she stays and she's just crying. I was in the theater, I was with friends and I was just like not even worried about it. I was just like, <laughs> I was just so, literally sobbing. I was with my friends. Yeah. What's your number one? This might surprise you. Mm. It's, so it's Rankers over 17. <laughs> The first Wonder Woman movie. I literally put, I, I, on my notes of this, I put not WW84. <laughs> I, I had never been so let down. It's so hard to tell like, okay, does this movie actually suck or are the people reviewing it just like just misogynistic really assholes? Yes. And we were watching it and it was like kind of pretty and I was like, I got this. And, 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 it'll come back. And the whole plot was how to get around the whole three wishes thing. <laughs> I'm going to wish. I really wish I had a coffee. I'm wishing us. I do know what I'd wish for. Then your wish is granted. No wish is granted. Wonder Woman 84 set the women's rights movement yeah. back five years. True or false? Because the first one was so good. That was, mm -hmm. to me, up with like the Batmans where they absolutely killed it. Mm -hmm. Patty Jenkins kicked ass at this one. I was mm -hmm. so excited she was coming back for the second one. I remember being originally really uh, skeptical about the casting for Wonder Woman. I like wasn't really feeling yeah. Miss Gal Gadot, but then I she she showed up. Mm -hmm. My number one is Rankers number one. This is actually the only like m mainstream one, obviously, but yeah, I had to do it. It's the Dark Knight. Like I literally, just, yeah. how could I put the dark? How could I not put the Dark Knight number one when I literally compared it to Godfather two? Yeah, greatest villain ever. Kind of like you said, like it set up the DC universe. Yeah, but it also kind of set it up for failure. A little bit, yes. Because it's like then when they give you on like a nice little plot of Batman versus Superman, yeah. and it's like, what is this? Shit? It, Send it back to the kitchen. It set the tone, <laughs> it set the bar way too high. If they had kept it up, it would be like, okay, DC movies are all gonna be nominated for Oscars. Yeah. That's the tone it set. There's no way they could compete with it, and that's why it became just such a jumble, and now they're basically just trying to make Marvel movies. I, it's the best, one of the best movies ever. I don't think I'm really controversial saying that. Well guys, there you have it. Those were our favorite movies based on comic books of all time. Do we miss any of your favorites? Let us know in the comments, or better yet, just head over to Ranker.com, vote your favorites to the top, and as always, let us know in the comments which one of us you think had the best list, or... Who's on top? Who's on top? Bye guys. See ya.